Grey Maniacs Gava, let's get this uh, box ZZ finished. I think I might have two videos out of this. Well, yeah, but it's got some weird mystery. This is number 12. Jason's been dead for 30 years. You can't go on like this, living. You can't go on living like this all alone. But I'm not alone. <laughs> oh, yeah, Jason's still around. He's a bit dusty. All right. You'll find your fearsome fate lurking in weird mystery tales. This is a cool one. Once again, the cover's completely dismatching the um, the story inside. I did this one for one of my Halloween ones with uh, Werewolf by Lunchtime doing the voices and, and his wife Dee. And uh, the, the little Native American lady here, she's the actual werewolf. She's in that, she, and it's a bloke inside the house that's being uh, attacked. So that was a bit of a different take. Here we go, two kids and a dog hiding from a from a menace. Such a popular uh, theme. One day I'm going to do that for cover singers. You'll find fearsome fate lurking in weird mystery tales. Where are you, Mr. Ison? It's time for dinner. <laughs> Mr. Ison appears to have turned into a, a crocodile or an alligator. Um... um we're safe. That thing will never escape. The Freedman's Monster. I think they spoke too soon. That thing, whatever it is, appears to be in the process of escaping. All right, so that's all the weird mysteries that I have. But uh, if I ever see them, I, I will pick them up. You know, they're some good horror tales, some cool covers. Right. Uh, this is a birthday book, first off, in the Witching Hour now. It's number four, September 1969, number four. It's 12 o'clock, the Witching Hour. Uh, Nick Cardi cover, I believe. I see N Cardi as the initial, so I'm guessing that's Nick Cardi. But that's a real cool cover. And so that's one of my birthday books. Right, and the next one I have is number 33. The Witcher Now, the horror hosts the three witch sisters. <sighs> Mordred is one of them. Um, oh, man. Can't remember all their names now. That's annoying. There's a young one, a middle, a middle aged one, and a, an old one. Kind of like the um, the three aspects of the Earth Goddess Danu, the the maiden, the crone, and the and the mother. This is a great great cover. This one. Um, Shall I look up if they all begin with M? Mildred. What was called Mildred? M Mildred Mordred Morgana. Maybe I can't remember now. That's annoying. I think I would. You think I remember the name of the witches? Oh well. Uh, I found the missing astronauts. Thank heaven they're unaffected by this strange atmosphere. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wait till they get a bit closer and you realise they've got no flesh on their bones. And then you can uh, t change your mind on that one. I carved your wax replica as ordered, evil dictator, but you didn't know when it met. When it's wax. Oh, but you didn't know when it's wax melted, so would you. This is another one that I um, did a. Halloween video about four. Uh, well, so that's my witching hours. Not an awful lot of those, but again, if I see them, I will try and pick them up. Same with this one. I only got one of these. This is true, amazing accounts of the strangest stories ever told. Black magic. No, no, I'm here for an operation, not an execution. The terrifying flight of the angel of death. He was too cute to live. Nasty little man. It was judgment day in the courts of sleep. There you go. This bloke's going to have an operation execution. An execution operation. Yeah. Chances of survival, very, very low. Right. Uh, two part uh, from Eclipse Comics, Nightmares. It's more alligator action. I think it's alligators in the swamps of Louisiana, I believe. Not crocodiles. Crocodiles are more Egypt, aren't they? Right, um, 
I've only got two of these books of the Tomb of Dracula. They're vaguely trying to get one and two. If I see them, I'll pick them up. Uh, Tomb of Dracula, Day of Blood, Night of Redemption. Marv Wolfman, June Colon, Colan, and Al Williamson. Is number three. This one was gifted to me by Rayman. Not read it yet because I haven't got the Lincoln parts one and two. And this one I happen to have in my collection somehow from somewhere. I'm not sure where. This might have been given to me by my mate, my mate Bub actually. Right, I'm not really getting this Black Hammer series, but they did a one-shot Cthulhu <laughs> Yeah, it's a uh, yeah, it's a little girl Cthulhu. Uh, yeah, uh, and I've got number one of Ice Cream Man. Who knows? Might be worth some money one day. I think it's like a fourth print or something. I don't know, but uh, yeah, interesting. I thought I picked up 50p from Forbidden Planet. Right, um, this is the first series of Night Force. My, my number one is really bad condition, actually. Terrible condition. Number one. I had number one for ages, and I thought I should try and get the rest of them. Because I had the second series of Night Force. And, yeah, it's been a couple of years now since I've managed to get the whole of the first series of Night Force. So I've read them all, of course. Great art. Pretty cool stories. Basically, Baron Winter sort of gathers people around him, normal powered people. I, mean, I think one of them was a psychic, something like that. But no, not super powered people, but normally normal powered people to battle mystical menaces. Mystical and magical menaces. This is the best cover. I like this one. The thing at the top of the stairs and skeletons at the bottom where it's obviously feasted previously. Yeah. <laughs> Very Lovecraftian. Mm, this one too. Mm, yeah. I'll say that one as well. Tentacles from above. There's a nice shadow cover. Beginning a new saga in the lives of the Night Force. And this is a many headed monster. Seven heads. Seven headed monster. Right, the origin of the Baron. Uh, number 14, Final Fear Fraught Issue. Ah, I have got the second Night Force one in this, in this one, in this box. Um, Night Force, The Face of Evil. I think it's a completely different team apart from Baron Winters. He's got a whole new lot of people together to uh, face the menaces. I think this first one is like a kind of like... Um, Children of the Dam, Midwich Cuckoos kind of thing, where kids are magically possessed to do evil. Uh, Baron Winters versus the Millennium Cult. That's right, the Millennium Cult with a big bad in this series. Coming up to year, to year 2000. Uh, last Train to Hell. There's some... F mm. Eek. Some nastiness reaching out for him there. Look at the people in the chairs next to him, all kind of like... In a trance. Look like it anyway. Hmm. Don't know what it is, but it's taken out a couple of coppers by the looks of it. Uh, nightmares do come true. Dreamer of Dreams, part two or three. It's like a, a see through monster. Yeah, quite hellish. Pretty cool. Uh, perchance to sleep, perchance to die. Uh, Convergence, part two or three. What did that cross over with? Convergence. House of Pain. Not to be confused with a, with a later Convergence that came along. I'm trying to think of it. Well, I'm sure it would have to have been um, Supernatural Tales. I don't think it was demon uh, maybe spectre did it cross over with spectre maybe part two or four so there's three other parts in other in other um comic books can't for a life me think what they were though 
Right. Evil Unbound. The Eleventh Man. Right, last couple. Uh, an Eternity in Hell. See, the first series of Night Force was 12, uh, 14 issues. Second series, uh, 12 issues. And the third series, I've almost finished picking up, is only seven issues. I need one more. I need issue seven to finish off the run. Uh, Confessions and Conclusions. And these are all written by Wolfman. I believe... Um, do I sort of show the whole lot? Let's just get it all done in one video. Screw it, let's get it done in one video. Ugh, it's going to be a long one. Right, these ones are birthday books. All September 1969 from horror kind of stuff. So this is a couple of Charlton's. Echoes of the Spirit World, Ghost Manor. This is Ghost Manor number eight. Can't remember the name of the artist. Kim something? San Ho Kim. San Ho Kim was the artist on this one. I'd never heard of him before until I got these this comic. Uh, Strange Suspense Stories number nine. The witch doctor is dead, but the snake! Where's the snake? Behold beauty. This one I, I adapted for a Halloween video. It's rather a strange story, to be honest. It's a really weird kind of like, like a false twist ending that made no sense, but I, I did a video of it anyway. Check out my videos. I, I keep meaning to to put links to the um, Halloween videos on the end of these, but I keep forgetting. Uh, ghostly Tales from the Haunted House. This is number 75. There isn't room for both of them in that one body, is there? Too bad, there's no other man. Sorry about this, Sis and B. You'll have to get out of your shell. There isn't room for both of us. N no, I won't leave. I won't let you do it. He's been forced out of his own body by another soul, basically. Someone's trying to, someone's trying to take him over. That's not good. Right, this is one of my very few gold keys. I think I've got one or two more, maybe. Uh, I think I might have a couple of... There might even be in here, actually. Uh, the Twilight Zone, Rod Serling. The fire raging for the forest was his sentence of death from the past. Such a great, influential, awesome TV show, The Twilight Zone. Uh, comic book is all right. It wasn't great, but, you know, I think it's a little more... Not quite so... Horrific as some, uh, but they're good little silly stories, you know. Right, like, this is um, a first ap first appearance. Uh, it's a character called Digger, who is the horror host of this comic book. It's the first issue of Tower of Shadows. At the stroke of midnight, tales to blow your mind. And you can see the hand reaching out from the from the portrait there. And Digger goes on to join uh, a team called Night Shift, not to be confused with Night Force, uh, but Night Shift, who are led by the Shroud in the Marvel Universe. They're kind of like villains, but Shroud is kind of like operating them as villains, but in a kind of uh, blue, uh, blue, green hornet kind of way, where he's pretending to be, he's pretending to be a villain, but really he's focusing his team on taking out other villains, kind of thing. So he's kind of like doing good, but posing it as being a bad guy to get these other bad guys to help him, kind of thing. Uh, this is, um, looks like an old comic book in a way. It's, it's sticked out to look like an old comic book. It's the Cursed Comics Cavalcade, featuring Swamp Thing, Guy Gardner, Zatanna. Heroes meet horror. Ten terrifying tales. You see it's done out in an old EC Comics kind of style, but it's a recent one. Quite expensive as well, actually. I, thought, I bought it from Forbidden Planet, and it was like, wow, is that what comics are going for now, for one comic? I know it's a thicker comic, but I thought that's a bit of a cheek. Right, a nice Cthulhu Tales uh, run. I managed to finish this one off uh, finally. I do love a bit of uh, HP Lovecraft mythos, a bit of Cthulhu. A couple of tales from this have been um, turned into Halloween videos. There's a particularly good one called The Door, which I, I was really happy with that one. I thought it was really good. Uh, and actually, the, the other one I did on this one is, was pretty cool as well. I can't remember what the story was called. But it's about a priest who encounters a guy who sees things from beyond. And he ends up giving the priest the knowledge, the vision. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. That's a... Yeah. Nurse, it's not time for my bed bath. Go away. Things from beyond. Outer things and elder things. And things that go bleh in the night. Ayah, ayah, Cthulhu Fatagan. 
Wagon the girl. <laughs> I can't remember the full chant. It annoys me I can never remember the full chant. Uh, <clears throat> in his house at Rayleigh, dead Cthulhu wakes dreaming, as it translates as. Flungguin the girl. I don't remember. Wagon the girl. girl for Targon. I don't, yeah, I can't remember the whole, can't remember the whole chant. Annoyingly, I can't remember the full chant. Uh. Right, and this is, um, I can't remember where I got this, but uh, yeah, it's only number one. I think it might come with some kind of mystery box or something. I'll right, see if I can get the rest of these at some point. Miskatonic, number one by Aftershock. I'm not even sure how many issues it has, but uh, it's another Lovecraft-related uh, story. Miskatonic being the... Um, the university, it's one of the places, in, one of the invented places in Massachusetts. There's the Miskatonic River which runs through Arkham, and uh, in Arkham you've got the Miskatonic University, and uh, yeah, I think that's based around the Miskatonic University, I think, in this story. Um, Boris Karloff, Tales of Mystery, this is another gold key, I knew I had a couple more. The evil that lurked in the forest was deadlier than the evil in their hearts. And so this is kind of like the, uh, the, um, Twilight Zone ones, they're not that scary, they're not that horrific, they're, but they're, you know, like, they're kind of like horror light in a way, but, uh, oh, I see, this is gold, yes, this, this one I've got from, uh, another one from Rayman, and this one I've got here, actually, on the back, is actually a Whitman one, so this is a reprint, probably from the Gold Key, uh, but it's the same title, for both man and monster, it's been a hard day's work, interesting painted, type, uh, painted covers as well, and this is Boris Karloff, it's, you know, it's a horror great, a horror legend. But yeah, pretty decent. But yeah, this is a Whitman variant. So it maybe it come out of um, a um, mixed bag or something like that. I think Whitman did those, didn't they? Took other titles, made them into grab bags. I'm not too sure. Uh, this is um, some reprints of uh, classic EC horror, uh, I believe. Double Size Horror, Tales from the Crypt, number four. Uh, featuring the Crypt Keeper, the Old Witch, and the Vault Keeper, and some guy with a straight razor going to go going to work on some other guy's face and neck. I think by the looks of it, not cool. Well, it's cool but not cool. Right, this is number six of the same series. In this issue, EC's adaptation of a story by Ray Bradbury, America's top horror writer. There's a vampire in the back of the cab there. That would ruin your night, wouldn't it? Another Charlton. Uh, all new Baron Werewolf's Haunted Library, number 21. And another Baron Werewolf's Haunted Library. This is number 23. I love the the art on these um, Charltons. The interiors are a bit raggedy because there's a poor quality paper and all that. And uh, but the covers are really nice, really nice sort of painted. This looks creepy, creepy. What the heck is that? Uh, the many ghosts of Doctor Graves. Her only escape: the mirror of yesterday. This is number thirty-seven. This art is not quite so good. This is a bit, a bit, uh, a little bit. Mm, if you catch my drift, right, and. Nearly the end now. A couple of mystery in space. I suppose I haven't got a sci-fi box, and so they've gone into the back of the horror box. Uh, in the infinite darkness, they are waiting. Mystery in space. And uh, same again. What have you done to me? You turned me into a monster. Forgive me, but it was the only way to save your life. Call him cyborg. Right. And uh, these comics sort of slipped down the side of the box. So I've got this one was sent to me by um, Matilda Gofka recently. as a little uh, AOK, she sent me some art, and she sent me this number one of Shudder. <laughs> Quite cool. The, it's basically, it's the old Warren style horror comics been recreated. It's, it's called a, a Warrant magazine. They've not even tried to hide the name, but it's like, there's like there's a vampire-esque Camilla, and there's this Shudder magazine, which are like taking on the old eerie and the vamp and the vampirella kind of uh tropes i think it's a good idea to be honest i mean i, I mean it's a little bit they've they've stolen it kind of thing but it's, it's cool to have that old scale sky style comics homaged uh in such a way right and these are the last two of my birthday books the last two comics for this box 
uh, this is a magazine, a proper Warren magazine, uh, Creepy, number 29. What unspeakable evil is found in a summer house? The world's greatest comic artist bring you Last Laugh, Spellbound, Bloody Mary. And this is a nice uh, painted cover as well. Look, they were getting down to some jiggy jiggy, I think. I can only just, they were getting down to some jiggy jiggy because she's scantily clad and she's running off to hide the fact that she's a... She's not actually alive. She's a zombie or a ghost or a spectre or something. I'm not too sure what the story is there. Or is she be maybe being... Ch I can't forget. I think that was a story. That, that, I've read it, but I can't really remember now. But I'm pretty sure that was a story. She, she's a ghost or something, but she's... I don't know, looking for, for real love. When she realises she's not really... I mean, she runs away. I don't know, I can't remember now. You'll have to, but it's a pretty cool cover anyway. I'll we'll have to read that one again. Right, and finally, one of my big books. Uh, my sister. My birthday sister. Cover dating for the first time September 1969 when I was when I was emerging into this world. It's look out, she's waiting inside the first collector's edition for you. Captivating comics about fantastic females. Illustrated tales to bewitch and bedevil you. Vampirella. And there she is. There's my Vampirella. There's my my birthday sister. I don't collect a great lot of Vampirella because so many of them to be honest. So I don't bother collecting them. I actually got rid of a lot of that I had because I didn't have the full story around lines and I wasn't planning on picking them up. So I don't want to keep, didn't want to keep like odd comics here and there. There was no point reading again because I haven't got the full story. So I sold most of them. But obviously I haven't sold this one. This is a complete story. I, I like, Vampirella is, is beautiful and cute, but she's got a horrible face. If you look at the first image of her, she's like, that face is not, there's something bleh, chilling about it. The eyes and the, not even much of a nose. She's definitely, she's not human, man. She's a Draculonian. She'll suck your blood. Water is like blood on Draculon. And, uh, you know, she'll eat you. <laughs> she won't just suck your blood, but anyway. Right, that's it. I actually just remembered, I did get some war comics in this box, ZZ, but I took them out because I had to put a load more... Uh, Tales of sorry, Secrets of Haunted House in. So I might have to dig out, I might have to do another video this with the war books that I took out of ZZ, otherwise you're not gonna otherwise they'll be missed, you won't see them. We'll see how it goes, uh, if I remember. Alright, okay, I'm out of here. Cheers for watching and until next time, have a great amazing day and may all your news be good news. Have a great amazing day. I'll have a great amazing day. Have a great amazing day. I hope you have a great amazing day.